Sony Vegas. Hey, what's up? Robert here coming at you with another Sony Vegas tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create this effect. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to do is go ahead and start off with a brand new Vegas project. I'm going to go ahead and select an HDV 72030p. Click OK. So we're all widescreen and everything. Now you can make this 4x3 if necessary. Uh, just compensate the settings for 4x3. We're going to start off in Photoshop actually. So we're going to need Photoshop for this effect. We're going to open up Photoshop and we're going to go ahead and start with a new project, File New. And we're going to go with 1280 by 720 Now the background content, I want it to be transparent. Click OK. Now I want to make sure my rulers are open by hitting Control R. We're going to View, Rulers. And also while we're here, we can go to Snap and make sure Snapping is turned on as well. And make sure you're snapping to uh, at least Guides. So we're going to go ahead and make some guides. I'm going to go ahead and click and drag from this ruler here until it snaps to the center. So you, did you see that snap effect? That should be the center of the document. And then we're going to click from the top and drag down. So we have the very center of this document. Now what I want to do is go ahead and create some lines. So we're going to go to the line tool, which is in the shapes tool, line tool right here. We're going to make sure the weight is set at six pixels and also that the color is set to black. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the default Photoshop colors here. And we're just going to simply go as close to this line as we can and just click and drag out the line. Now you'll notice if you move out of this line, it'll automatically snap back in when you move closer to it. So we can drag this all the way down, let go, and then drag another one over here. Now just to be sure it's in the middle, we can select these two layers and make sure they're all aligned vertical and horizontally. Looking good so far. Now what we want to do is create a circle. So we're going to come back to the shape tool, hold it down, select the ellipse tool. And we're going to create kind of an ellipse. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Uh, right around there, let go. And then we can also center this, hold down shift, and center it vertically and horizontally. Now we're going to double click this circle here to open up its layer styles. Once we have the layer styles open, we're going to go ahead and change the fill opacity to 0%. And we're going to add a stroke color black and a little bit thicker right around 13 pixels click OK now that we have that done we can actually hide these guides you can hit control H or go to view extras the guides are now hidden and here we have the background what I'm gonna do is actually select all three of these layers and just hit control E or right click merge layers and we can rename this to BG background all right, now that we have that done, we can go ahead and start creating the numbers. We have to create each number one by one, starting from 10, ending at around two, since usually film countdowns end at two and then start the film. So we're gonna go to the text tool and we're going to select a thick font. I'm using this font called TWCENMT uh, Condensed, I believe. Condensed Extra Bold. You may or may not have it. You can use whatever font works best for you. And I'm also using a size of 400 points. We're going to go ahead and start off by typing 10. It doesn't have to be in the center as we can control click on the background to select these two layers and align it vertically and horizontally. Now we can hit control J to duplicate this number 10 about eight more times. So control J nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right. So now that we have all those copies, we can start off by changing the text inside of them. So I'm going to go ahead and hide them all. We already have 10 here, so we don't have to worry about that. We're going to go to 10, copy, make that visible. Hit T for the text tool, select it. Let's go to 8. Oops, 9 comes after 10, huh? 9. Hit Enter on your number pad to confirm that selection. 8, Enter. 7. Six, five, 
four. three two all right so now we have all these numbers we can make them all visible again and select them all and as well as the background and then again align them vertically and horizontally so now all the numbers should be aligned vertically and horizontally we have ten nine eight seven six five four three two we have all the numbers we need as well as the background just make sure everything's visible it looks like mush right now but watch what we're gonna do we're gonna go to file scripts export layers to files here's that window and you want to choose your destination I have mine in a countdown folder a file name prefix can be countdown we're gonna save these as PSDs since PSDs do work in Vegas Pro and everything else looks okay and then just hit run so it's gonna process each layer and make them into its own PSD file if I go to the countdown folder, you'll see each PSD file get added one by one. All right, so it's successful. Click OK, and we're done with Photoshop. We can close it, minimize it, whatever you want to do. And we're going to click and select all of these PSD files and drag them right into Sony Vegas Project Media. All right, now that we have that done, we have all these numbers here in Vegas as well as the background. We can go ahead and start off by bringing the background in. And we want this project to be at around uh, 9 seconds. So right around there. Let's make this as long as there. And I'm going to add a marker for each second. So here's 1 second. Hit M on your keyboard. Drag this over. M. Just like that. Now we're going to start off by making this background. I'm going to go ahead and go to Media Generators, choose Solid Color, and we're going to choose this gray preset. Click and drag that down to the bottom. And we can make the gray a little bit darker by clicking this little arrow on the right and dragging it down. We're going to make this a second long for now. Now we're going to bring in another gray preset. Bring that in, make the color a little bit lighter. Let's move the timeline over it. A little bit lighter than that, like around there. And we're gonna also make this one second. All right, now we wanna go to transitions and we wanna choose clock wipe. You should have it. And we want to go to clockwise hard edge, not soft edge, hard edge. We're gonna bring that in front of the dark one right here. And we're going to make sure feather angles off, clockwise direction. That looks good. Close that. We're going to make this transition around 18 seconds. Now you can see the fade offset right there. It's showing me that it's 18 milliseconds. So we're going to make it right there around 18 milliseconds. So we're also going to add the uh, same clockwise hard edge transition to the front of this light clip here and make that. 18 seconds as well. Well, it doesn't have to be perfect right now. We're going to click and drag it up closer all the way to the end right here of the darker gray clip. And we're just going to click and drag the darker gray clip over this clip to around 18 seconds. So let's take a look at that. All right, that looks good. So all we have to do is click and select these two clips, hold on control. Control C to copy, go to two here, Control V to paste, create a new copy, click OK. And then all we have to do is click this last part of the light gray clip and drag this in 18 seconds. So we have a nice smooth transition from dark to light to dark to light. And then we can select all four of these clips by going to the selection tool, Control C. Control V, go to the end of this gray clip here, click and drag it 18 seconds, and then just one more gray piece, Control C, Control V, click and drag this 18 seconds, and then bring this down. 
So you can go ahead and preview that. It goes from dark to light, dark to light for each second. That's looking pretty good. Now we're almost done. All we have to do is go back into our project media and insert all of our numbers. So 10. And notice this is in the video track above everything else. 9. Now there's no transitions between these clips. 8. 7. Six, five, four, three, and two. Alright, so we can preview that once again from the beginning. Ten, nine, eight, seven, and so on. Now I want to add some video effects to this entire bottom video track. So we can go over here and add track effects. I'm going to go ahead and select Sony Film Effects. You should have this available. Double click, click OK. And I want to go to the very old film preset. I don't want to have a tint. And I'm going to go down to jitter and turn that off as well. I don't want any jitters. And then we can go ahead and preview that. And there we have a pretty cool looking countdown from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Now one extra step you can take is to go into audacity. Go to generate, tone. And we want to create a new tone at around 1050 hertz. We're going to make this one second. That's fine for now. Click OK. And we're actually going to trim this down to 10 seconds. Right around there. Hit delete. And then preview it. All right. So we're going to go to File, Export. And we can export this as a WAV file. It's OK. And just name it Beep. Save, click OK, minimize that, back into Vegas, and we have this new beep that we can add. I'm just going to click and drag that down to the bottom of all these clips. And we can start it off at around 3. Copy it, and then paste it. So. There we go. So we go from 10, 9, 8, 7. So there you have it, a cool looking film countdown from the olden days that you can add to any of your future projects. Now, if you don't want to do all this work, you can go ahead, head on down to the description, and you can get the uh, video clip for free from the site. Just download that and you'll have the clip in high definition and everything ready to go. And I'll even go ahead and include the PSD countdown uh, files as well. So hopefully this helped. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. Follow at Rob's Productions on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Now we can hit Control J to duplicate this letter 10. Ha, <laughs> letter 10.